Okay, guys, welcome to one of the first ever crisscross episodes of Art Mart. We kind of had one with you, yeah, a few weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, that was me. So, welcome to Art Mart episode seven, where we're going to interview or be interview me today, I guess. Right? That's the plan. Yeah. Is interviewing me today. Yeah. We're interviewing the great trip. This will be a great trip down memory lane. Can I tell you guys like the, the worst one I heard when I was a kid? Go. And they always, they always fucking say it. They're like, hey, trip, see you next fall. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, oh, uh-huh. ho, 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 ho. Uh-huh. So good. So good. Uh-huh. Was the girl that said it named Autumn? No, her name was Spring or May or something. Some That's good, not some, as insert, funny. Insert good joke. We need those. All right, boys, this is on you. Oh, Sweet. don't put things on me. I don't like things on me. Are you want any you instead? Put things on me. I'll, I will have things put on me. <laughs> I'm in full guest mode. <laughs> full on guest mode, right? You haven't even seen my final form. Uh, yeah, let's let's get started. All right. Yeah. yeah so uh, one of the things that you've uh, that you've talked with us in the past that seems to, yeah, that um, I keep getting hit by cars. Yeah, that's actually yeah. one of them. Yeah, you just got to get hit by a car last week. Vehicular trip slaughter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So should I just dive into the story Do about it. it real quick? Okay, so this has nothing to do with art. Just like you dove into the car? This has nothing to do with art, but the, the way I landed might be art. Oh, that's true. If it be the first time you just got busted. Right. Okay, well... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so for the viewers, I got hit by two vehic- by, uh, motorized vehicles in the past, like, less than a year. One was a bus and one was a car on Thursday. <laughs> not both on Thursday, to <laughs> specify. Yeah, so yeah, not both on Thursday, but... Um, yeah, so this past one, I was just, I was literally in front of my apartment complex, and I had the straightaway, I was kind of just got, just getting off spear right onto uh, Cherokee, and some lady didn't see me and just ran right into me, and I ended up um, breaking her side mirror with my penis and balls. That was a dick move. <laughs> yeah, dick move for sure. Um, and then I got some, I got some footage, I don't know if you guys saw it on Snapchat or not that I, I sent, but... Um, I ended up flipping over the car and landing, landing on my feet. Oh, so That's... you're like a cat. What, so, you're, so what you're saying is you did not, in fact, trip. No, I've, I've, oh, I flipped. No. I flipped and landed. <laughs> oh. Are we going to have to call you Flip now? That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> I knew a Flip once, and he was a douchebag. I mean, I'm kind of a douchebag. Yeah, but it's a different kind of douchebag. Aww. This guy was a straight-up tool. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the best compliment ever. Yeah, that you're not a tool. Yeah, All I right. guess so. Yeah. New podcast series, Flips Five Cents. <laughs> Flips Five Cents. I'm going to sue the fuck out of you, Flip. If I had a nickel for every time you said that. You what have a whole nickel. To? Yeah, right. <laughs> so would you rate the, um, let's see, which would you rate higher, the bus or the car? In, in what rating system? Five stars would be hit, up, hit by again. Which would I rather not do or do? Which would you rather do? I'd probably get riding hit by a car. Buses, buses are pretty solid, pretty solid vehicle. <laughs> That's fair. I can see that. I lost a tooth, had a concussion, and tore my jaw at a place with the bus. Jeez. So I would choose the car again because I landed it, and only kind of busted my gins up. And That's pretty impressive. Hey, and with the Olympics just passing, that was almost on time. Right? Can, can I be honest? So like, I remember like the entire thing, like even while I was in the air. And I saw my neighbors as I was flying in the air. <laughs> and I was like, at first I was like, dude, you get hit by a car again. And I was like trying to like joke it with myself and my conscience. You know, like you, it feels like you're in the air forever, right? Like you're just like kind of just sitting there thinking of everything. And I was like, well, you know, if I do land this, I really hope they give me a good score because I was thinking about the Olympics. <laughs> right. <laughs> Medal at least. I don't know. I, was, I can't rate myself, man. That's not the, how the Olympics Did you ask done. the police if you got a gold medal? Well, they were really impressed. I landed on my feet. That sounds like a that sounds like at least a nine out of ten. I would say. Gymnastics scores. Yeah. I don't know. I thought it was pretty fucking dope. I kept on telling people, like, "This is sick." They're like, "Do you got hit by a car?" That's kind of weird. It's like, well, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, at least I was did it gracefully. Yeah, it's like impromptu gymnastics. You know, when you're just a fucking born natural athlete. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, since we're on the subject of you being hit by vehicles. And obviously, there's fun violence in your past. Let's hear about Grandpa Murder, which is not his name. Yeah, um, back when I was 
and this like really kind of sprung on uh, like a deeper dive, dive into art is because it kind of got like dark in my life when I was like in high school. Uh, my grandpa got beat with a baseball bat when he was 87. Wasn't that a song by the Ramones? Uh, it it might have been. Was he a brat? No, no. Um, he was actually he was a uh, he was a little band on a scooter. He owned a, a flea market out in uh, it was like like Haymarket, Virginia. And uh, this guy owed him some money, and the guy ended up buying a baseball bat from his flea market, and then went outside and beat him with it. That sounds very Italian. That sounds. That sounds very mob Italian. Yeah, like I'm sitting there thinking, like you know, the full suits with Tommy guns and. He owed someone like five dollars that he didn't pay. Well, it was actually so. the opposite. He, uh, the guy actually owed my grandpa like five grand, and my grandpa came to ask him for it, and then he went and beat him because of the debt that he owed my grandpa. Would that mean he was in five grandpa? Probably not the best thing to joke about right now, asshole. <laughs> yeah, it was a good money joke. <laughs> Zing. We'll let the audience decide. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are the, like, yeah, since you're the one that kind of, like, really got this podcast started, um, and a lot of this came from your expertise in, um, in like, audio equipment, like, you're the one that kind of taught uh, taught everybody here the ropes on it. Um, there how are did no you ropes get, here. There's only, there's only cords, you're right. Mm-hmm. Lots of right. cords, you got, yeah, taught let's, you the cords. Let's look underneath my bed. <laughs> oh, those are chains. <laughs> Whoa, shit. <laughs> yeah, what got you uh, interested in um, audio engineering? Uh, it's actually kind of, that's kind of a crazy story. So I got my first guitar when I was like 12-ish from my crazy, crazy great aunt. I mean, literally, she used to like go in this movie with personality. She used to call herself the doggy mm-hmm. and like act like a fucking dog. So she wasn't that great? Well, no, but she used to write songs for Patsy Cline. Oh. So. so huh. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. No, I say, huh, because interesting story, uh, not to detract from you, but apparently I'm somehow related to Patsy Cline. Are you serious? Not even kidding. And I totally forgot about that until you literally just said that. Well, yeah, she used to write songs for Patsy Cline and all this kind of janks, and she had a guitar in the closet. And, uh,. I just, it was just kind of crazy that, like, she gave it to me one day. Like, I don't know if it was on her crazy fucking doggy moods or, or not, but she doggy gave me this guitar. And getting into, like, high school, I kind of dropped it and didn't really do much with it because I hated going to guitar practice. I thought it was, like, going to fucking the devil. I was like, did you practice your scales? I was like, I just want to fucking rock, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to rock. And then um, a lot of us got into bands in high school, like, you know, a lot of, like, screamo and stuff, and punk rock, and all that kind of stuff, and we, I wanted to be in a band, too, but we realized that we weren't going to get anywhere unless someone was recording our shit, and I had, honestly, I had the shout-out to my parents, because they were always super supportive of this, like, journey I went on with, with audio, and were like, I, I was like, I need these chords, I need this, I, I really need this, like, this IO or mixer or something like that, like, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll, we'll find some, some way to make it work. We'll, we'll get, you know, or something comparable at least to, to get you where you need to be. And yeah. that, that whole journey actually brought me all the way to a music conservatory in Radford um, where I was, like, vice president of uh, Radford Records. So, like, all the recordings and stuff I ran, and then that changed into president of Radford Records. So I ran all the live audio. I ran all the writers, signing bands. Everything went through me. So all that, that guitar kind of started a, a weird journey. And fast forward to nowadays, even cars try to go through you. Yeah, I don't know if I got some like magnet in, in, in me or not. Oh, okay. So actually crazy, crazy to jump off the, jump off that into something else. But so I was in the hospital, right? And I had like CT scans up the asshole. I mean, like they, they like doubled up my knee, like my pelvis. So not like literal head. up the asshole. I mean, just, I, I mean, I wish they just did. around the general vicinity. I mean, the, the way they're the way they're gonna fuck me with the medical bills, I wish they would have given me at least a reach around. Aye. 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 But um, they were <laughs> they're going through my CT scans of my pelvis, and they're like, did you know you have like a piece of metal in your pelvis? <laughs> they're like, it's like really deep in there, and I was like, no. They're like, do you have any idea how it could could have got in there? And I, did, I have no idea how to explain there's a piece of metal in my pelvis. <laughs> I mean, one crazy night, lots of alcohol. Sounds pretty kinky. I'm, th- I'm thinking it might have been like when I was in fraternity, someone shot me the BB. 
and I just kind of like was so drunk I was like <laughs> just let it go hmm. <laughs> huh Huh. A-B-B. A-B-B. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. I'm just wondering why like, I don't get stopped at metal, te- like metal detectors in like, airports and shit. I mean, it could be non-reactive. It could be like aluminum or something, which could be a pellet. Oh, yeah, a pellet would dive that deep. Mm-hmm. Well, I would have a metal pellet in me. It was a BB then, right? No, a BB and a pellet are two totally separate things. Yeah, so the pellet, pellets have like a tip on them. Yeah, they're flat. Tips. It's like basically like a tiny little bullet. So either way, I got fucking shot. Potentially. Yeah. Okay, good talk. Allegedly shot. <laughs> Alleg- For anyone Allegedly. listening, there are no crimes committed until he's proven guilty. Well, I'm the one that shot him, the victim. There's no crimes committed unless he's <laughs> proven victim? Unless, yeah, unless, uh, I guess, whatever fraternity is proven guilty. It wasn't them. It was just probably one of my friends. The... That was a little rambunctious in college. Where's the uh, the fun hazing idea? It's like, you know, having to clean the house in your underwear and shit like that, not get shot in the ass with a BB or pellet. Yeah, that's definitely not what happened. That was, that was yeah, not there was none of that happened. <laughs> that was definitely not it, especially in the pelvis. Like, as much as, as, much as I love my penis, like, that would, that would have never happened. They'd be like, you're not, you, there's no way that's happening. So, out of curiosity... Since, uh, obviously, there was a hazing incident. Jesus uh, Christ. We're not calling it that because it wasn't, didn't happen. Okay. An alleged hazing incident. Jesus Christ. I'm not giving up on this. <laughs> <laughs> Moving asshole. forward, alleged hazing incident. You're stuck with it. <laughs> uh, that implies that you went to school somewhere. Where did you go and what was it for? So, I went to Radford University. Well, first I went to uh, Northern Virginia Community College. Uh, I studied audio engineering there for... About two years, and then transferred to Radford University in the hills of Virginia, uh, right near Virginia Tech. And that's where I went to the music conservatory there for two years, and I fucking hated it. Like, I had one professor, Tim Channel, he was the best. Like, he was an amazing professor, like, taught me a bunch about audio, and, like, really wanted to see me do things. And then, like, I just felt like the rest of the conservatory just wanted to see me fail. Like, that was, like, their job, is to fail, like, students which was crazy. Then I transferred to communications, which this was actually kind of a great send off because I was already doing like audio engineering and stuff. And that's where I got kind of the idea to do this because I already did broadcasting in school. So I was like, why don't we start a podcast and we talk to Mark about it and then we got you involved. Mm -hmm. And then now we're all fucking here. It only took us a year to get it started. I mean, considering COVID, I think that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Given COVID and given lots of startups don't get started for like at least, at least a year. We spent a solid six weeks putting it together before we started recording, which I think so, is pretty good, considering this that's might, not much time. I mean, this might not seem like the most professional situation or because it's not st- our studio, but we 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 we've been working hard on this. Yeah. All, all the viewers out there, we've been really trying to bust our ass on this as as, as much as we possibly can. Yeah, many asses have been busted. We're here to grow for including you guys, trips, dogs, the viewers. Pets. Yeah, including my fucking poops and of dogs. We could pull a PBS moment and say we're sponsored by viewers like you, Thank but you. nobody sponsored us yet. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you viewers. Well, Taylor, you're sponsored by Trips Two Cents, but I'll just leave that there. That's not a sponsorship. That's an umbrella company. It's not an umbrella. You have to have multiple companies to have an umbrella company. That's an overall. No, company. no. But it's still not sponsorship. Sponsorship it's requires the, the company paid for this shit, butthole. That's true, but that's still <laughs> not sponsored. We're looking for sponsorships. Yes, if you guys are interested in sponsoring, we are setting up a Patreon. Oh, actually, it's it is set up. It, it, uh, I got I got a, a new one set up for us, and we will be hopefully live if I can figure the the jam out in the next few weeks. We will. I'm sure we'll provide a link to that at some point once it's fleshed out a little. We'll link it up. Are you a baritone? I was. In, I was in chorus. How do you know? Be, hey, you were in choir? I had to do an ensemble in conservatory. Okay. So for people that aren't familiar, can you explain to someone what conservatory is? Conservatory is like a hyper music school. They, like, they take it to a new level. It's, just, it's, not, it's not just a music college. It's a conservatory. Like They produce music. They have... a operas. I don't know. It's just, it's just like a different level of music school. Okay. So, 
like I guess I'm trying to wrap my head around like a different level is in like it's higher. It's it's like imagine like going from like a double to triple A like. Okay, so it's almost like there's a level of prestige in being part of an observatory. Yes, that's the, the that's the right word for it. There's a different prestige to it. Okay, so I get I can kind of see where like especially being part of an observatory, um, the committee on the observatory may be a little bit stingy and like on uh, trying to protect that prestige amongst like people in it. That was my problem. Is I shouldn't have gone to a conservatory. I should have gone to an audio recording stu- or audio recording college just for that because I was like learning like Bach and piano and stuff like that I was like you need to be I just need to be behind the booth like learning how to record different instruments and mic placements and and how to mix and master like on, on the fly like and I didn't get nearly any of that experience that I really needed because I was so busy doing I was practicing guitar three, three fucking hours a day of classical you know okay. yeah. so it didn't strike a very good chord with you <laughs> you're welcome yeah I have to double up on all the uh, bad jokes because Nathaniel could not be here today. Right. So I apologize that the jokes are horrible and they will continue to get worse. We don't have the proper harmony for this. Stop it. Well, at least we got a dog that's chewing on live feed. Right. Hey, Layla. You want to stop doing that? And she went right that back look. into She's it. She's like, right. nah. Yeah, yeah was, right back uh, into it. That was... Quite a day crescendo into a crescendo. Mm. So um, I know you went into some music back in your day, obviously, and I have got to hear one of your songs. You did the other day. Would you like to share on your inspiration of that and the story behind it, especially the version of how you had to replace the vocalist less than 24 hours before you did it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was, that's a little, yeah. That's actually a good behind the music story. <laughs> yeah, see, here we go. All right, so um, being in music college, I had to you know, write a certain amount of songs and try to produce some stuff, whatnot, and I had a band. I, 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 I miss you, Alex and Master. You're, you're, the salt to my, you're the salt to my pepper. Um, but we had a band that was in college, and uh, three of us were actually at school together, so we could practice all you know, the you know, melodies and... And when I got all that together, whatnot, but our lead vocalist was in Leesburg, Virginia. And he had a, had a, he had a hard time getting to you know, practice and whatnot. And we, we actually were hitting a beer festival in, uh, across, the, across the river, which was really big for us. It was, like, it go, was a huge show. Did you go in a van? No. We, down we, by the river? Down by the river in the hanky-panky. That is not the joke I was going eating for. Eating some government cheese? Yeah. Also hey. not the joke I was going okay, for. Anywho. Smoking that reefer? Anywho, we got to the concert. Uh, we were about to get the concert, and he ended up. He's like, the, like two days before the concert, he ended up bailing on us. I was like, I can't make it. I was like, dude, this is like the biggest thing that's ever happened to us, and it's like a few hundred people at this fucking festival, right? And we're not even headliners. But he canceled on us, so I ended up. I ended up uh, after after the festival. I had to I had to turn that song in for a project. And I ended up paying one of my fraternity brothers to audio engineer it while I, I overdubbed his vocals and just did it myself. <laughs> and then turned it in with, with, with my vocals. Huh, so you almost kind of like stitched together like the uh, two recordings yourself to create one recording that was basically the, well, the no, song. No, I erased his shit and just did it myself. Oh, okay. I was mm-hmm. like, all right, if you're not going to be here for like something big like this, I'll just turn it in myself. I was like, I learned to sing and play guitar. Fuck it. So, Maybe. what was his reaction when he found out? I don't think he knows until if unless he listens to this. <laughs> oh, what what was his name? We could give him a shout out, give him a tag. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I want to say. Maybe erase him from history. Yeah. I probably don't want to. I don't want to. Hey. He's still he's still a good kid. He could be wanna. a good kid, but he might appreciate the publicity. This could be Barbara Streisand effect for him. Well, I'm not gonna say last name, but his name's David. Oh, David. David, David, David. I was about to do that. <laughs> I was about to. I was about to do something very local to Arlington that a lot, most people here won't get. Do it anyway. David, Mac, David. Stop it. I mean, it's lost like four hundred viewers. I'm sure. It's true. So um, now that we've moved on from your history of music, where do you plan to take it in the future? I mean, I'd love to get like a, a solo album together. I've been working on some songs, kind of really half-assed to be honest um i just i suck at writing by myself 
I'm, I'm terrible about writing by myself. Like, if I have someone, like, bounce off with, that's why I was like, Alex would master myself to my pepper. Like, every time we sat down, we would come up with something together. It was just very, like, natural. So I'm kind of looking for, like, a collaboration on something with that. Since I... he was the salt to your pepper, did you push it real good? Duh. Okay. <laughs> Shit, yeah. <laughs> Shoop button. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm looking for someone to like, kind of collaborate with. And, like, I, I used to, like, love, like, scream on music and playing, like, drop D, drop C, you know, some Parkway Drive shit. But I'm at the point right now I just kind of want to get into more melody stuff. Like, whether that's a lot of piano or, like, acoustic guitar. I'm just kind of sick. I'm, like, I'm not sick of distortion. I just No such thing. It's just I would like to explore other options. I can see that. Uh, and lately, the only drop D you've been doing is putting it into cars. I'm yep. gonna keep this going. Yep. I yeah. Did I already say I broke the the mirror with my peens? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah. you kind of half said it, but say it again. All right. Mm-hmm. So for anyone who didn't listen to it, I broke this lady's side mirror with my my peen and my balls. That's mm. about. Is that seven or uh, twenty one years of bad luck for the number of objects that broke the mirror? It depends on how many inches. Does it count if it's your beanbag and sausage? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. <clears throat> yes, it does. Well, I think that we're kind of getting close to wrapping this up. Make sure you guys please follow us on Spotify. Follow us on Art Mark Community on Facebook. Please watch out for our Patreon. Um, follow me on Instagram at uh, trip underscore Mr. Fitness. Me too at Mark Jones dot art. You wanna you wanna plug you wanna yourself, plug babe? yourself? You wanna plug yourself? I guess I could plug myself, Nathan underscore BS. I do some hikes and stuff. Check me out on Instagram. Hikes He's nature stuff. as fuck. He loves granola. I am one with his mushrooms. He uh oh, so he has to be Mr. Nature because if I might remember right, you had a nature beard at one point. With ferns and acorns oh, yes. and pine cones all up in there. Wait, Wait, we also, we, we also, also had, like, you and me had, like, a... Oh, we forgot our stick picture for the spring. We did. No, it was for the summer. We forgot no, we the, didn't do spring or we, summer. Yeah, so we need... Yeah, we, we obviously need to Rekindle. restart the cycle. Yeah. All Let's right, start any, with the fall where it started. Anywho, so thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll be back next week with a new episode for episode eight. Peace. Catch you soon.